A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you today about doing little things well for Jesus. There's some housewives, maybe some old age pensioners, maybe some young school children, and you're saying, what can I do for Jesus? Oh, you'll be surprised what you can do for Jesus. The Lord says, whatever you do, you must do it with all of your heart. If you go to Colossians, the book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 17, and the Lord says, And whatever you do in word or de deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Whatever you do. I heard a lovely story about an old gentleman. He used to walk around with an oil can. And you know what he used to do? Wherever he went, if he heard a gate that was uh, squeaking, making a noise, he'd go and put some oil on the hinges. This is an actual fact. If there was somebody battling to get, a, get their key in the door, they couldn't open the door because it was rusted or something, he'd take his oil can and he'd just squirt a few drops of oil in there. That's all he did. He went around helping people. Now, this is what I read the other day. And listen to this. This man says, do great things as if they were little because of Jesus' power. And do little things as if they were great. I'll read that again. Do little things as if they were great things. And do great things as if they were little things because of the power you have in the Lord Jesus Christ. So don't get upset and get uptight if it's a big challenge. Give it to the Lord. And if it's a small thing, do it as unto the Lord. Okay? I really want to encourage you there. You know that little boy that came to Jesus? He had two fishes and five barley loaves. Now, my friend, I'm talking to a person here who understands the Word of God. Are you going to tell me that in 5,000 people there was only one little boy whose mother had given him his breakfast or his lunch? Of course not. There was lots of food out there. They just didn't want to give it to Jesus. That little boy gave Jesus what he had, and that little boy will be remembered by all of us forever because Jesus took the two sardines, he took the five barley loaves, he prayed over it, he multiplied it, gave it to the disciples, and they fed a multitude. A little thing. But that little boy gave what he had. There were some older people there, had probably a lot more than he had, but they would not give it up. I want to encourage you, don't despise small beginnings. When I first started preaching right here in Great Town, they sent me to the outlying churches. There's a beautiful little church not far from here. It's got 20 seats. <laughs> the whole church. Beautifully built out of stone by the early settlers. It's even got a little balcony. Can you believe it? I think it's 10 seats at the bottom and 10 seats on the balcony. And I used to go and preach there to sometimes 10 or 12 people. I used to get so nervous. I used to get so frightened. <laughs> eh? But you see, God was testing me. If I said, no, I can't do that, he says, well, then you can't do anything else. So maybe you've been working away there for a long time and you feel, Lord, when are you going to give me a breakthrough? It's coming sooner than you think. He's testing you to see if you're going to do it with all of your heart, with passion and with gratitude. That's what you've got to do. You've got to do everything that the Lord gives you to do with all of your heart. And then other people have got a huge thing to do. And don't stress over it. If God's told you to do it, God will make a way for you to do it. So may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you as you do whatever it takes with that little oil can just to bring some joy in a person's heart. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.